It is fake hero coming at you once again, but this time we've been playing Legends of Runeterra. See it here. Uh, for all of you guys that do not know, I used to play Hearthstone quite a lot. Every all you guys on my YouTube channel know, but y'all tuning into the Twitch. Yeah, we used to play Hearthstone. Uh, then I moved on from that game. I kind of got bored of it, and then I took a break. Took a break from YouTube. Took a break from a lot of things to reset and figure out who I am, what was going on. Uh, we got a new job. We moved away from the old job we had. Man, let me tell you that that shit was exhausting. Got a job more close to home, more chilled, and it's been honestly a lot more rewarding working there. Anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. Legends of Runeterra. For you guys that don't know, uh, Riot Games brought out their own card game. I've been enjoying myself uh, quite casually playing this game. However, I've been starting to climb a little bit, and I've been having a lot of fun playing playing this deck in particular, Spooky Karma. I'm not sure where the Spooky comes from, probably because the deck shares both uh, Shadow Isles as well as Ionia. So, you know, Shadow Isles, Spooky, I can see the trend here. Basically, this is like a all in all control deck and I'm not gonna like talk about it too much and like try and explain what's going on here because I don't think I'm in the correct position to be doing that. I just wanted to show you guys what I've been playing, what I've been having a lot of fun doing. So basically Karma provides you with a lot of value. Uh, so similar to Hearthstone in terms of create, generating random spells. It's a throwback to the days of Hearthstone, all right? And then basically you've got a lot of removal and ways to bring back your Karma. So you can always be generating value. Uh, for, you, for you guys that don't know, when she gets enlightened, she's able to double cast spells. We've seen similar effects in Hearthstone. So this deck strategy kind of was easy to pick up because it just, as I said, it reminded me so much of Hearthstone, really. Um, we've got our counter spell or deny, uh, just really good for negating value. So we're basically trying to negate value and gain value. And uh, we have ways of taking care of our HP with some removal slash heal, uh, life steal, I guess you can call it. Uh, Rekindle brings back a karma, as I mentioned. These are pretty much your dark hole from Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, this is your killer unit. This is your single target removal. Um, we have little combos here we can do with Solitary Monk by bringing back some of our battle cries. I'm using a lot of half stone, ter uh, half stone terms here. So I do apologize if anybody's here tuning into Legends of Runeterra specifically, and you'll probably think that I'm just some wacky idiot. Anyway, Shadow Assassin is pretty much your uh, early game uh, understated but powerful effect. Drawing cards in Runeterra is quite powerful. So there's very limited ways to card draw, so Shadow Assassin uh, having three copies of it is just a great miss call more ways to bring back value uh karma is a great combo with this uh if you can set it up right you can pretty much guarantee to get your miss call you can also do some funny plays with karma where you cast your spells over and over so that's really cool um frenzy skitter this is just a mid-range good value card uh, so we'll use that Emerald Awakener. Enlightened is similar to what Hearthstone's doing with the when you have maximum mana, they get a bonus effect. So Enlightened is that. So it becomes a 6-6 six, six for 3 mana. Good to play early, good to play late. It's very flexible, so it suits this deck very well. Bile Feast is good single target removal, as well as uh, healing and summoning a minion to block stuff. Mark of Isles is just honestly a broken card. Uh, I think any Shadow Isles deck is probably running uh, Mark of Isles. It basically just buffs one of your guys for one mana by 3-3. Three, three. It's a burst spell, burst meaning. It can be played like almost any time and it can't be countered. So it's just an incredible card. Your guy gets an Infumeral, which is pretty much like destroy at the end of the turn, destroy at the end of the battle step. So it's still just a nuts card, uh, Solitary Monk, as well as recalling cards like Shadow Assassin, as I mentioned. You can just bring back any of the other cards, and if they trade and take damage, you can always bring them back to where you play them. Withering Whale is kind of like a... It's a good card in itself, but it's very specific as well. It's good against aggro, and it's good for... If you're taking value trades, you can set up a good Withering Whale and clear their board, just as much as the Ruination poss possibly would. Uh, basically, the aim of the game is hopefully you get your Karma early enough, and you generate some value from it, because sometimes I've been finding that if I pull the Karma late into the game uh, i just haven't got the spells to actually utilize uh its effect at all uh certain matchups all you want to look for against aggro is pretty much all your removal that you can uh, we're looking for specifically vile feasts and minions that we could play early enough like even shadow assassin is the worst keep i've been finding just to for a blocker frenzy skitter helps against aggro as well uh if you know you're versing a control deck 
which is quite, you can kind of easily tell in this game. It's easier than Hearthstone in terms of knowing who you might be versing because the game straight up at the start gives you pretty much, I'm not going to say it gives you a deck list, but it tells you what champions they're running if they are and what sets they're using. So if I verse someone, they'll see that I have Karma and they'll see that I'm only a Shadow Isles. So they'll know pretty much what I'm playing. So if you know you're versing a control deck, you'll pretty much keep your Karma or look for it hard mulligan for it. Other than that, uh, Rekindlers in your hand will help, but you're kind of with the Karma. So basically, just look for the Karma. Everything else doesn't matter. If you're versing a mid-range deck, I think Ruination is just a powerful card to hold on to. This might be me not making the best players, but I've been finding the Ruination to be uh, kind of clutch in key moments. Enough of that. Let's play a game. This is a one take video by the way, I'm not going to try and edit this too much. So I'm just keen to get these uploads happening again. And just holler at everyone on YouTube that may or may not have been wondering where I've disappeared off to. So most likely once this video gets uploaded I will probably lose a handful of subscribers. But if anybody's interested, tune in, we're going to play some Runeterra now. Uh, hanging out for the patch that's coming out very shortly, so don't go and craft any decks. Well, we're getting a patch soon, uh, pretty much, I think it's today, honestly. Not in my time zone though, probably when I go to bed it will happen overnight. I didn't pay attention, but we're versing Demacia Ionia. There probably was champions there I should have had a look for. Uh, this hand's pretty awkward anyway, so I'm just going to mulligan the whole hand. I'm just going to look for Karma. Uh, should I wear Assassin's? Uh, not too bad either. But I'll feast if he's playing an aggressive deck. I won't regret having that in my hand at all. So, spell mana as well, so that's a different thing in this game other than in half. So we have spell mana, so unused mana can be utilized later in the game. Hey, it looks like he's playing some sort of control deck if he hasn't played any minions on curve yet. But yeah, spell mana is pretty much, uh, unused mana fills up these three spots here. And, um, we can be used that just for spells though. Uh, he's playing Fiora, this is actually like OTK potential right here. Like, that just states when I've killed four enemies and survived, you just straight up win the game. So I think I know what this guy is going to be trying to do. He's going to try and OTK, OTK me with um, Fiora. So I'm going to do what I can to try and get rid of it. Yeah, he's going to be running cards like Barrier and stuff. So I'm going to have to try and figure out a way how to get through that. I have seven mana. I can Vile Feast to break the barrier. And I can attempt to grasp the undying. It does need to kill units, so I can always just ignore it as well. I will cut you down. So this is a big bait, right? I can ignore this. So, no, without no doubt, I'm going to try and buff my guy, but he's going to have a way to give a barrier, which is fine. It technically didn't kill me, so that's really good for us. If we can stop it from gaining any kills, it's also great. I think that Damasia does have cards that allow him to, like, pull. Pull it out, which forces it to attack. And it will should get the trades. I will play my part. Ah, I don't mind doing this. You can get a trade here. I can also vile feast it, so it's fine. Master. So I'm pretty much just gonna play aggressively against the Fiora deck because his plan is to try and set up this combo, but it's gonna help take him quite some time to set that up. Okay, that's a not not a bad find. Oh, it's in hand. I can sort this out. So, I can save my karma here with the Vile Feast. So, spells can be played. Oh, in general, cards can be played on either player's turn, which is what I really like about this game. It gives you, like, you know, you're able... You're able to interact with your opponent, and that's been super cool so far. <clears throat> Thank you. 
I'm going to attempt to grasp again. The car, if we can keep the karma alive, we're just going to be generating a value. And most of the cards in his hand, like I'm only assuming, I haven't gone too far into details. Your move. Okay, I lose my karma here, but he loses his Fiora. And he loses his guy. Not the worst, honestly. Not the worst. Water changes, but never breaks. He has no way to deal with the Royal Nation, so this is good. Let's draw some cards and give some minions a uh, barrier. Yeah, let's go in. We'll just keep trying to push him down, pressure him. I need to get him to pretty much use as much resources as possible. So I shouldn't need to be too hesitant about just going in and swinging. Even if I swing in here and trade off one of these guys, I'll take that. Ah, uh, this has barrier too, so... This is not too bad. That block makes sense. And then he doesn't block with anything else, no problem. So we've had a Karma die, which means that if we pull one of the Rekindlers, we can always go ahead and bring back the Karma. Yeah, so being able to play cards, so we both gain mana as well between uh, each turn. So that's a really cool thing about this game, the mana just keeps stacking up. Yeah, let's drop the Withering Whale. I'm not, I'm not being too resourceful because his deck, if I can basically, as I said, if I can get him to use as much resources as possible, it makes it more difficult for him to pull off what he's trying to do. Now, at any point, I feel like I'm in a bit of a problem. The Royal Nation should kill his guys. So no doubt he bursts. I have a decision to make here, one that we'll have to wait and see if it was correct. I'm going to grasp this because I want to keep my minions on the board. Okay. So he gave his guy barrier. Maybe he'll use another spell. Maybe he won't. But this just keeps my board alive, which I don't mind at all. Expensive removal for me going out the window. Again, take this all with a grain of salt. I'm quite new to the game. That's not the minion that he gave barrier, which makes me wonder if maybe he has something spookier. Uh, Shadow Assassin's not the worst draw. Helps us cycle. And we can actually play the Solitary Monk here, which is really good. This is a good situation for Monk. We'll bring back our guys. And I'm actually going to hold on to my mana. We can play Ruination next turn. He's going to play very heavily into it. Um, I can actually just swing here as well. Now I wonder if it's worth me... I think what I want to do here is probably play a blocker. So I don't take all this damage to my face next turn. I can still afford to play Ruination. I just don't want him to... So there's another thing in this game where... I don't know how to explain it, but there's certain times I can play cards and he has an opportunity to pretty much swing with all his minions and I can't do much in terms of spells like so yeah but he, if he plays a card I can respond so now he's played a card I have a turn where I can play even slow spells slow spells can't be played during battle step so because he's done that he's played pretty heavily into the Royal Nation and I don't think I missed this opportunity to play it but if he wanted to he could have also just swung in uh, or swung, use all his minions to attack, and I, d I can't really react with much. I can play fast spells, but if none of them really interact with his board, then it's a problem. So I'm not sure if his deck 
Oh, actually, he is Ionia. He could have had Deny there. He definitely could have had Deny there. I would have been pretty, not boned, but I would have like been in a bad spot. So I didn't even consider that. I'm glad I didn't because if I tried to play around it, I probably would have lost that game. Smokes, dude. Weekly vaults going up. Uh, play one more. We didn't even really get to showcase what Karma is meant to do, so that's fine. You may have seen a little bit whatever it was doing. So I wonder how I'm going to do these thumbnails now. I mean, I've been out of the loop for so long. And I'm pretty sure, like, YouTube has got some pretty serious, um, legislations now, right? We can't just post on videos. We can't just, like, post them up without some consideration. Fuck. Maybe I should be sw swearing more? So it's more aimed at adults? Is this the guy that we just played? Um, grass might be heavy, but I'll keep it. Fuck, I hope I'm not playing another Fiora deck. I can't be bothered. I got so lucky then. I am one Barrier doesn't necessarily tell me if he's playing Fiora again. Okay. No, oh, he's totally playing Fiora. Ah, uh, Ruination's gonna be relevant. So he can give his Fiora barrier. But he can't do much about Ruination. He is Ionia, so he could dispel it. Draw. Draw. They cannot hide. He'll probably take the trade. It's, it's fine. I considered it if I wanted to not take that trade, manage my HP better. However, I think. That might come back to bite me. I think HP is not an issue in this. It's being able to deal with Fiora. So HP is not as important of a resource to us. So we've got some spell mana here. It doesn't go over three. And uh, if you do decide to use spells as well, it will take it out of your spell mana. Follow the wind. Watch your back. Is that a your sewer? With barrier. I'm gonna Vile Feast it. It's a uh, good value in terms of breaking his barrier. I'll take it. And you can't do much about that. Ah, skip the block. Skip the block. Skip the block. Yeah, we'll skip the block. So maybe he's not playing Fiora, which means he may be playing uh, something else that I'm not familiar with. If you attack in the wrong order too, it is a bit of a mechanic there. So when you're attacking, it also is relevant how you attack and who you attack with. Because he attacked with these, I think he swung in with the Yusuo first. And then this guy, so he attacks after my grasp, interacts with the Yasuo, and it's kind of confusing. Like, it's simple in terms of, like, gameplay, but some of the interactions get so complex and blows my brain a little bit. I'm sure veteran players will probably laugh at me for that, but that's how I feel. Uh, we do have... I will play my part. We can see our elusive. This is pretty much like, uh, is there any half zone comparison to this? Stealth, but when you're stealth, you attack. 
and then the gates like there's no taunts in this game so it's similar to magic in terms of attacking and blocking I suspect that it is probably Dex focus around your sewer. Again, I didn't have a look at the champions at the start of the round. That can give you such an advantage. If I just pay more attention, I wouldn't be playing like thinking about certain cards that don't even exist. Um, I want to play Karma. We'll bring peace to Ionia. I want to start generating RNG value. Yeah. I find them unworthy. Please tell me us. I guess at any point things start to get spooky, I play Ruination. Now I suspect that this deck in particular, with the cards he's running, most likely has copies of um Deny, so I've got to keep my eyes out for that. I have to pick and choose the best opportunity to play Ruination. I'm going to swing. I've got some cards here. So support. Uh, when they attack, I'm pretty sure attacking with the support unit will buff the unit to its right. So it gives a barrier. Barrier is pretty much like negates the first set of damage. Immediately. Give now a barrier. So you may not have seen that there, but I did burst the spell out. This is a perfect amount of mana to play Deny. No problem. It's fine. Now the problem is if he can deal lots of damage to me. I can afford to play Miss Cole now at least, so I can guarantee I have a blocker for the following turn. I go him to use a fair bit of resources, including a deny. So there's no doubt eventually he is gonna have a chance to play it. He's one deny down, which gives me opportunity to play Ruination more safely, which I think is gonna be more of a key card. Also ripping the karma there, that's amazing. Getting another Miss Cole, amazing. Good RNG there for us. RNG favoring old fake hero. Boomer fake hero. <laughs> Boomer fake hero. Okay. That was a weird one. Get on some of your own speed. So he's just gonna fucking get in there, dude. Act with conviction. No doubt. I suspect that he may play some sort of um Are we thinking he's gonna play something to give his guy barrier? For sure, dude. He's already got tremendous value from that 1-2. This is a 1-2 card. This reminds me of, um... Card from Hearthstone. Mana... Addict or something. The one that gains attack every time you play a spell. Ah, uh, what's the vibes? Rekindler... Is one card that provides good value and then... 
it's not Miss Coal time, I think it's Rekindler time. Because uh, the cool thing about Miss Coal is that if we do hit 10 mana, when we cast a spell, we'll cast it twice, okay? So there's always opportunities there to get some value. That's a big minion, though. Oh, it has a rally as well. Uh, we'll block here, right? Come from the dark. So rally, I think, is an effect that um during my attacking step or during any point in the game that can just rally and attack again. Grant all battling followers ephemeral. Oh, that could be a cool combo. Alright, watch this. I'm gonna pull back my karma. This is a bowls play. This is a play that I'm hoping that they do not have deny. Okay. First we'll swing. A little mind game plays here as well, okay? So... If he's not playing anything, I suspect... He's thinking about... I need mana to play Deny. Or... He just fucked up. <laughs> he played in the dice super hard, dude. I wouldn't be surprised if he just... Straight up concedes, I would. That's disgusting. So that was cool. We like pulled back our karma with our monk. What's it called again? The solitary monk brought back the karma. We played the ruination, destroyed his board. We still have the karma. Great value. Look at this value. It is immense. So now that we're in line with maximum mana, karma is going to uh, level up. Which means our spells will be triggering twice. Maybe I didn't even need to play Karma here, so we'll see if that's kind of a mistake. Recall three enemies. Okie dokie. Uh, no big deal. Let's play the Emerald Awakener instead. This is life still, so also we're enlightened, so the Emerald Awakener has now become a 6-6. Good for us. Good for us. Um... So now here, I've got lots of value here, lots of things I can do. Choosing the correct play is something that probably will never be perfect. Maybe with more understanding of the game, we can make more uh, accurate decisions. But at the moment, I'm not too familiar. So I'm pretty much just going to play the strongest singleton cards. So basically something like Rekindler here, I feel like is an okay play. So just uses one card, keeps my options flexible, but I'm just using one card, okay? So I think I'll do that. It pulls back the karma. It turns out another weird interaction is when you, I'm not sure how exactly the technicalities of it, but if you have a champion in hand and you play a champion, it turns the other champion in your hand into a spell. That's a bit different to the normal. So there's a card called Inside of Ages. But this is Karma's Inside of Ages, so now we can play it for extra value and it shuffles a Karma into our deck. But if the Karma dies, it won't work like that. An ally and an enemy strike each other. So if I want to, just to push the value, I can play this Inside of Ages right now, because it's a burst spell before he destroys the Karma. And then I can even play uh, the Mist Call to bring back the Karma. I think I want to burst this out. 
generate some spells. Gives me twice the amount of spells. Shuffle Sakama into my deck. And then I probably want to save. <laughs> Did I just pull a Will of Ionia? So this is basically going to send his guy back to his hand. And this is a perfect opportunity for him to play, would want to play um, Deny. But I think that's just going to negate everything from happening. Weird interactions. Now we're attacking. And he's probably just dead. That's incredible. We just got super lucky with some crazy RNG with the Karma. I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. It's mental. Deck's so much fun. Hopefully it doesn't get too impacted by the patch coming out. I really do hope so because I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's a hard deck to play, but it rewards the veteran players, I guess. Or just rewards people with a good idea of control decks in general TCG games. So I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment on the video. Or if you're interested, come check me out on Twitch. I haven't got a stream schedule at the moment. I'm getting back into the flow of things, uh, but you can expect to see me on throughout the week. So, you know, come say hi and we'll have a good time. Alrighty, man. Peace later. I hope everyone stays safe as well with all this crazy coronavirus stuff going on. Okay. Uh, take care of yourselves.